So why did I start posting videos about God? Look, if you want to find out why, then keep watching. But if you want to find out why you should be posting videos about God and how you can get started with that, watch to the end of this video. And if you guys want to help me push this message out there to more people so they can see this as well, just simply like the video, copy link this a few times, and share this to your friends so they can see this one as well. Now let me tell you, man, I used to be a really bad kid. I used to be depressed, anxious. Um, I was living for the things of this world, wasting my life on all the worthless garbage things that can never satisfy a person's soul until I met Jesus and he delivered me from all of that. So I started to get radical. I started to feel that fire in my heart to start getting serious about my faith and doing the work of God. So. What happened was, I remember I was watching this video once, uh, these two really good preachers, well, men of God, YouTubers, one's name was Isaiah Saldivar and the other's name was uh, Shane Winnings, and they're having this little podcast inspiring other people to start making videos and going live and all that type of stuff to uh, radically get people to start casting a great net so other people would get transformed by the truth. So I remember watching that and one of them said, what if Paul had the technology that we have today, right? Because he strived so hard just to get those letters written and then published to the churches. Imagine if he had the technology that we had today to send messages to possibly reach millions and millions of people with just a few clicks of a few buttons with just a few videos, man. Would he not do it? So then they mentioned how online ministry, literally through that, they were able to impact thousands and thousands but not just thousands millions of people with the truth so through online ministry making videos digital ministry you have that capability to reach millions of people millions of people could be saved just from a few videos so then I felt convicted right there right then that God was calling me to start pushing out videos going full-time on online ministry man I realized there's no excuse not to because you could impact an entire generation just from posting on social media, posting online. That's one of the greatest ways to cast a great net in these last days. So then I just started posting every single day, like three times every single day. And I just started picking up and going viral, being consistent, being faithful to the Lord. And then I started seeing miracles happen, people being healed, letting me know in the comments, dude, I had this pain in my body. And then watch your video as you prayed. I got completely healed in the name of Jesus. I've seen, I've made deliverance videos, seen people say, bro, I didn't even know that a Christian could have a demon. I thought, I didn't believe that some stranger on the other side of the screen could ever do the work of God in that way. But as I watched your video and did what you said, God delivered me. I've seen people say, dude, I used to be living for the world. I used to be stuck, wasting my life away in video games and whatnot. But then after watching your videos, I decided to give my life to the Lord and follow him and be transformed by his power. So I've seen this. I'm barely scratching the surface of all the crazy things I have encountered and seen just from reading the comments, people reaching out to me on social media. So God has used it in mighty, mighty way. Now, people are going to tell you, don't get on social media. Don't get online. Don't get on those demonic antichrist apps because they're evil. Right. So is the world. But Jesus didn't tell us to run away from the world. He told us to be the light of the world. Change the world. Right. He didn't say run from culture like the Amish. He said change culture. OK. So you as a Christian are called to take back territory in the world that the devil has stolen. So that's exactly what you have the opportunity to do to do online through making videos and posting on social media. Right. When the devil tries to pollute and twist what God intends for good, we can do the same thing, right? We can take what the devil has stolen and use it to benefit the Lord. And you may be like, well, I don't want people to think I'm weird. I don't want people to see my face online making videos about Jesus. I don't want to be that kind of guy. Well, that's too bad for you. You know why? Because Jesus was tortured, tortured, tormented, beaten publicly, right? Humiliated publicly, not so that you would support him privately. No, he died publicly so that you could live for him publicly and tell other people about the truth, okay? Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel for it's a power unto salvation. So you should not be ashamed either. Look, hundreds of thousands of people die and go to hell every single year, possibly millions. So 
you can change that. You can change that. You can impact these people's eternal destination through your obedience and faithfulness by posting online and doing the work of God through social media. This is something I think a lot of Christians should be doing in these last days, okay? You don't need social media as an opportunity for you to consume, consume, consume. No, you need to be a creator. You need to start creating, creating, creating opportunity to be a light in this world. And that's exactly what you can do online. You may be like, well, where do I start? Well, I got you, friend. I just recently launched my Patreon where I teach you guys detail after detail everything you need to know to get started when it comes to posting online. All the mistakes I've made, all the things I've done that have caused me to go viral for Jesus. I mean, we just had a video on Instagram hit just about a million views. Over 800,000 people were reached with the truth, okay? So you have that potential, okay? You have that opportunity, but you gotta act fast. So on my Patreon, which I've only made like $7 a month, which some people will offer you a training course that's around 1,000 to 3,000. This is as cheap as all get out, guys. It's just like buying me a coffee once a month. So also you have access to godly community on there. Um, guys, girls, friends that will push you and challenge you in your walk with your faith, not decline you. You have access to personal live streams, exclusive content. And we're gonna start doing Zoom calls here soon where I'm gonna start FaceTiming you guys, calling you guys, answering your questions. It's, it's great, it's a whole community. So I would love for you guys to join that Patreon if you don't know where to start, man. And start, I'll, I'll teach you everything you need to know when it comes to going viral and doing the work online for the Lord. And in the process, you'll be contributing to what God is using me to do on my ministry, my platform as well. You'll be supporting me. So, man, I appreciate that. But yeah, with all that being said, that's gonna wrap up today's video, guys. Look, if you wanna just become a member of this channel you can and get access to exclusive perks if you want to um see my merch store you can go check that out i'll leave that in the link of the description everything guys is going to be in the description of this video so check out the description that's where you'll find the link to access the patreon but yeah guys with all that being said hey thanks so much for watching god bless you you have a great rest of your day